Happy Saturday, everybody. You're welcome to the Today's Woman Show. My name is Renee Q. Boating, and it's going to be really, really inspiring. It always is. So you did well to be on. We'll be right back. It's time for the woman on the move. She's a go-getter, pressing on towards her goal. Let's see who she is this week. Georgina Kumsin has been farming for over 20 years. She was adjudged the overall best farmer in the Greater Accra region in 2014. Georgina, who is widely known in and outside Ghana because of the products she exports, says farming has been her passion since she was young and gives her inner satisfaction. Farming is something that makes me happy. So anytime I see greens, I'm very, very happy. Even if I'm sad, I always want to go to the field because it makes me happy. Her products, branded crumbs, ranges from herbal tea, creams, jam from fruits and air refresh and are made from peels of fruits. All these are manufactured in her own production house. This is one of the production rooms for crumbs where Georgina Kumsen, the 2014 Greater Accra Regional Best Farmer, produces various products from produce from her farm. Over here she produces the organic tea. This is not the only thing she produces. She has the fruit jam, she has the fruit cake, and she also has a fruit juice. As a teaching assistant to the botany departments at the University of Ghana, Legon, she says everything she produces is backed by science. Produce, but it has a scientific background attached to whatever product that you are taking. Everything is analyzed and then we, we sell it. We don't just produce anything and put it on the market. The product that we are producing it's, you can trace it from where it is grown, the land that is grown, the water that is used, um, the location, who produced it, uh, how it is dried. You can trace everything and I think in food safety, traceability is very important. She says her major challenge has been the provision of machinery for production. Sometimes getting the right equipment to produce, um, the equipment are very expensive and the rates are so high, so you need to... Um, use what you have. Georgina encourages farmers to add value to their products, something which she believes distinguishes her from other farmers. The U.S. Secretary of State, Mary Royce, paid Georgina a visit during her stay in Ghana and promised to continue to support women in entrepreneurship. So our winning woman for today is the very beautiful MFA Tamaklo. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank She's the sales me. lead. She calls herself the sales <laughs> lead of Eat Clean Kitchen. Sure. Now, you have a, a, a degree in banking and finance. Yes. Okay, I was into banking as well, and I left. <laughs> I have my story. You have your story. Yeah. Today, I come to tell us all about it. So you're very, very welcome once again. So how come, uh, you know, how, how come you moved <laughs> and you started Eat Clean? Eat Clean, okay, so... Um, eat clean. I started eat clean in 2016. Okay. When I wanted to lose weight. Okay. Yeah. I after my first baby, I think I put on. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to lose weight, mm -hmm. and I had to sign on on um, a weight loss program. Okay. They gave us. Um, it comes with. Um, the meal plans mm -hmm. and the food you have to get. Right. Okay, so I think some of them were not around. Mm. It was very difficult to get them. So I started going to, I think I was going to the mall for my stuff, and mm -hmm. it was quite expensive. Okay, what, what kind of things? Okay, so um, I think this herbs, like fresh fruits, okay. let's say... Salads and all yes, that. Yes, salad, okay. salads, you get it around, but mm -hmm. some particular ones that okay. were not easy to get unless right. you get to the mall. Okay. Then some of the meals too, um, probably I was a very busy lady. I had 
I just had a baby. So maybe you wanted someone to prepare the food for mm -hmm. you. It was also a difficult one because right. we're not getting easy access to, let's say, salad or how you want the person to do it for mm -hmm. you, like yourself, to your taste. Uh -huh, to your taste. Right. So I think that was what, and okay, so I think I also wanted fresh bread without the normal flour. white flour that we okay. were using. Okay, so I think I did my research. I was going to the net. I was getting recipes and trying them at home. Then I think anytime I, I do it, it gets finished. So, and I think I had- Who was eating it? My husband and my small <laughs> baby. <laughs> They just finish anytime I bake. So it was, so it was nice. Yes, they it was nice. I, I didn't even have an oven then. Okay. But we were using, I think I was using the normal small, small ovens. And that one I had to buy it. Okay. So it was a gradual process. Okay. Then I think I, I do salads. And it was like people will come home. You've, you, you just had a baby. So people come and visit, visit and you're like, this is what I eat too. So I have to save you. So when we, I serve and they're like, hey, this thing is nice. When you, you were serving the people come yes, to visit you with, yes, with salad. salad. I remember my mom came around. I served her salad and I like my carrot very crunchy. Mm, I don't want too. it soft. So my mom was like, hey, this salad is nice. So but when you do your salad, uh, your carrot hard like this, it will be difficult for people to enjoy it. And I'm like, people, but who said I'm doing it for people? Well, okay, then another friend also came. I, I did for her and she liked it. She's like, hey, Mifa, this one, when you do it, people will buy it. So I'm like, really? People like salad, they will buy. Okay. Well, they so, do because yes. you were looking for it. Yes. So definitely somebody else is looking <laughs> for it. But you know, Ghanaians and how we see salad, people, some people will be yes, like, hey, salad, yes, yeah, I can't yes. take. So I started doing salad seven to my colleagues at work. I was taking it to work. Were, you, were they paying for it? Or no, you just doing it as I was just doing and it, just and it I was getting the feedback. Right. People enjoyed the salad. Right. I remember that I made it for a, a friend of mine. He went to give it to his dad. The dad liked it. So the following day, the father also called and was like, I want that salad you prepared for my son. Oh, wow. How much is it? I didn't have a price yes. for it. So I'm like, eh, hey, okay. Then... I'll do it for you, I'll bring it. So I brought it to him and he introduced it to his colleagues and they also liked it. Wow. So that was how we started mm. because I wanted to lose weight. Right. Yes. Yeah, so right. from salad to smoothies, I think I was doing smoothies too because of my baby. Mm -hmm. I was doing smoothies for him and I'm like, oh, if my baby likes it, then other kids would also like it. So, so what kind of smoothies were you making for I the was baby? using a mango, banana, um, avocado and carrots. I boil it, then I blend it. It's natural. I don't add anything, okay. and he likes it. Okay. So I, I started introducing it to my church, mm -hmm. and people were buying. That was how come. Wow, and that, that is what made you leave yes. banking? No, no, no. I left banking before I got, I got married. Okay. I had another job, Okay. Yes, okay. which was not banking-related. Right, yeah. right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, that, that's interesting. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, I always say that it's best to enter a business that is yeah. needed. Like, yeah. So whatever yeah. you are providing should be needed and you definitely will make money because yeah. people want I, it. And, people and wanted that service. I'm like, wow. so people would want so to So is take it that salad. they didn't have it in their area? Is it because of the area? Because here, yeah, it, it says you had done so much Russia. Yes, done so And you are saying that when you needed it, you had to go all the way to the mall. Yeah. So is it that you have brought it to the area? So I wasn't even serving the area people. People all around? Outside, because I started using the internet. Okay. That was, I, I, I still use the internet. I use the internet a lot on my For, facebook page i share my meals i'm okay. like this is what i'm eating now people will be like oh i want it oh i can do it for you that was how i started oh, wow. i shared my wow. every time i'm going to well, if, I'm, if i'm going to take water i'll share this water recipe you know it was funny <laughs> and people are like a recipe for the for, water what are you let, eating let's toast to that because <laughs> there's a recipe to this cocktail so well done Emma. thank you <laughs> Yummy. Mm. This is from the one to one by here oh, okay. at the Moving Pick Ambassador Hotel. Nice. And I can just see you after this interview going to the <laughs> cocktail bar to go and ask what was what inside. Was and then you, you add it to your you you add so it to your I business. I shared anything I was doing at home, it's trying my meals. Like I was losing weight. So I was sharing my journey. So it was, what, it was the food that you were eating that yes, was making you that lose was weight. Making, were you eating just salads? No, I wasn't doing salad. I was okay. doing salads, smoothies, fresh juice, mm -hmm. then soup. Then okay. instead of um, the normal banku, I was using oat flour for my banku. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then I was I was doing um, 
instead of the white rice, I was doing brown rice, okay. basmati rice, yes, yes and yes. quinoa and those But then things. people say that it's not tasty, especially the brown rice. The brown rice. You know, you know Ghanaians, we, you we, know, hey, we, are used we, have, to we, have, we have a tasty tongue. You know, we like our spices, we like our, our, our and a lot of our, our foods is really carbohydrate yes, dense. Yes, yes, you yes, know, so, yes. So what, so what do you so do about I it? Think, Where you bring, provide an option? Yes, I was, when I started, I was preparing, I was doing meals for people. Okay. Yes. And like, like a whole meal? Yes, a whole meal. I was preparing meals for them because mm. I had I had time at that time. Mm. I was doing the salad, so it, it probably stir fry. Mm -hmm. And how I prepare it, it was very tasty for, mm. for them to come back because right. people were coming okay. back. So for a week, I can prepare your meal for a week. You stock it in the fridge. Okay. When it's, you are out, you come you back come again. Back. Okay. Yeah, so okay. I think I was doing that service So were you well. prepared for this business? I mean, because if you were putting it on the internet, okay, you're yeah. putting it out there to all your followers, their friends, their friends' friends, yeah. and all of that. So were you prepared for probably the demand for it? Are you able to meet the demand for it? Okay, initially, I don't think I was prepared. I think I was having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just testing the waters. I was really having fun because I was, I was working. So I come back after work to do my orders. Mm. So I was just having fun that I was able to do something. Mm. That was the whole, okay. I was having fun. Yeah. I had fun um, preparing meals, having calls like, if I want this, oh, I can get it for so you. you bought the packaging and everything. Did you, how, how did you package it? Okay, so um, packaging was bowls. It was disposable bowls okay. that I was using. Okay. But now we don't, I don't even do the meal plans. Okay, yes, now it's just the yeah. salad. The salad cry is also out. Okay, so what do you do there? <laughs> so what do you do at Now eat? we are doing granola. Okay, okay, I started the granola too, but mm -hmm. now that is the main thing that we do. Okay. And we've also introduced different um, uh, meals on our plan. We have our taji coco mix. I what? sauce, ataji. Okay, tiger, tiger nuts. nuts. Okay. Yes, we have tiger nut that we use like Tom Brown. Mm -hmm. So you have the tiger nut with brown rice, and you can just use it for porridge. And it's nice. Yes, it's very nice. Oh, I like to taste that. You can use okay. it for porridge. So you can you use teach it for people brown. how to make it. I, I I was organizing classes like oh, how to bake in um, healthy meals. You come for tutorials, a day workshop. I was. I was able to do those things. There's so much, <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. There's so much you can do. Exactly. There's, there's so, so much. What inspired you to start doing? Of course, it's the weight yeah, loss. It was but the then weight you could loss. have just you could have just left it with the salads and everything. But yeah. what pushed you to start thinking about the atadri milk and yeah. you know all of that? I think I wanted um, to provide healthy options mm. to our regular meals that we have right, around. Okay. Yes. That was when the granola came in because of we, we have conflicts yes, on the market. Yes. So I felt, okay, we can have another one, a different cereal, a different cereal to conflict. So yeah. that was where the granola came in. It's made with oats, mm -hmm. oats that we've baked. It has the nuts. It so has do you the start seed. from scratch? Yes, we start from... You do everything we from do scratch? We do everything from scratch. Wow. And luckily, I got some people on board to help. So we have a team that we work. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do you provide this to maybe stores or shops yes, around? Yes, our How granola people... is registered, FDA approved. Oh, so it's, wow. it's on the shop. Congratulations. So Congratulations. <laughs> it's it's good, on good, the good. shop. We have um, Melcom. Melcom stocks our products. Okay. So when you go What's to the Melcom, brand? Eat Clean Kitchen. Okay. And that's, what, that's what, okay. Yeah, okay. Eat Clean Kitchen I'll granola. I'll look out for it. Yeah. Okay. So we have Melcom and we have other shops that stocks them. So what's in your granola? We have oats, mm -hmm. we have almond nuts, coconuts, we have pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. Because you know now the keto diet yes, is we like... Yes, ha we have keto, we have um, granola for keto diet. Okay. It's made with nuts, just so the nuts. So I was going to say that it's really, really popular now. I yeah. Mean, everybody losing weight will probably Wants to do tell you that they're on the keto diet. Yes. So, so, so hitting that market will be a great... Yeah, we are, we are there. Oh, that's we fantastic. We do bread for keto. We have almond no. bread. Yes. And where do you stock that? We have, I need we to try it that. fresh. I we make it fresh that. upon request. We oh, have wow. almond cake. We have cloud bread. Um, we have um, coconut bread. We stock almond flour. We stock... <laughs> okay, so that's what we are into. That's why I said that even the salad is off now because... Okay. So then you just at, hit that market. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But and we is do it, salads. Is it because of the keto diet? Is that what no, no, pushed no, you to... No, no, no. I, I think my Eat Clean Kitchen is all about making healthy meals. 
So whether you're on keto diet, whether you're trying, you're, you're on a low carb diet, or you are doing vegan, we are there yeah, for, for the yeah. whole individual. So have you started, can I ask, have you started cooking like this in your home? Because yes. Because some people, and a lot of wives we do, and women are watching, so let's <laughs> learn from this. A lot of wives go on a diet, they are losing weight, but their, hu their husbands have the U-pack. You know what the U-pack is? <laughs> I know, right? You, you know the U-pack. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, they'll do their benkwa and their fufu and their mutu and everything nice yeah. for their husband and they'll be eating salad. Yeah. So they are looking healthy, lean, mm -hmm. you know, very, very... And, then they are, and their children even can be overweight. Yeah. Overweight children, I mean, that also can be really, really bad. Yeah. They, can, they can get diabetes, all that. So I think as mothers, as long as you are, you know, sort of in charge of, like preparing for your family and, and feeding your family. You should feed your whole family, whole family. the yeah. healthy option. Yeah. Because sometimes you, I, I, you, <laughs> you know, I go to parties and things and I see children screaming for, I want more, I want more. <laughs> and it's a big plate, mm -hmm. you know, and they are, you, so, so I'm asking you this, are you giving your whole family yeah. this healthy option? Yeah. You know, and so my family, um, we have um, breakfast. I normally use our Taji Coco for them. We have, my, my son will come, mommy, I want granola and yogurt. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Yes, because I, inch, I like, that is what How he, old is he? His four years. Wow. Yeah, and he takes it. Wow. When he's going to school, I have this kiddie pack that we sell. It's juice, fresh juice, but we've, we've um, served them in pouches for your kids. Okay. Yes, we serve yeah. them in pouches. So he takes it is to school. Is that FDA approved as well? No, we okay. are yet, we are, okay. we, we are processing um, yeah, yeah, processing yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, processing. But okay. most of our things are now going through. But okay. the one that is on the market right, right. officially is the granola. Okay, okay. But we still sell it to yeah. people. Yeah, but that's really, really yeah. good. That's so really my good. fam, my, and then I think our tiger nuts uh, meal too. We serve it at home. Okay. Our banku flour, which is the oat flour, mm -hmm. we serve it at home. And does it taste the same? It's just like the normal banku. You all you need is are your you sure? soup. <laughs> All you need is your Are soup. You, sure? you don't need because, anything. Because, like, you know, sometimes you want the real thing. <laughs> no, I mean it. All no, you need is true. your soup. It's just like fufu. Yes, it's just like I, fufu. I, now, I eat cabbage fufu. Okay. And I you love see. it. So, but the first time I heard it, I was like, what? <laughs> Please. And I like fufu, mm -hmm. you know, but like you're saying, it's the yeah. soup. It's the soup. Yeah, you just need yeah, your soup. It's true. To go with yeah. whatever soup. And then the soup normally is, is healthy. Like, yeah. like okra is really, Good. really healthy. Good. And the light you know, soup. Yes, Sometimes you can go for a little granite Especially if the granite is not mixed, because normally now they People miss our granite. Yes, they miss in. it. They miss it. So yeah. that we we came we came through to because we produce fresh granite paste. Okay. Yes. Oh, so you have granite paste. Yes, we as have well. granite paste. We have almond butter. Yeah, following. We you. have. I'm following you after this. <laughs> we have. I'm going shopping. We have coconut oil shito. We don't. We use. Okay. Yes. Like that's, that's good. what yes, that's yes. what we are trying to bring that's onto good. the market. So now you've mentioned this. I mean, I'm so intrigued. <laughs> it's so interesting. I'm sure the ladies out there too are like, yeah. oh, I really want this. This is really good. Now, as a businesswoman, as an entrepreneur, what challenges have you faced? A lot. And how do you overcome them? A lot. Mm. A lot of challenges. Mm. A lot. Sometimes customers. Um, you take in the orders. You finish everything, and customer will not pick up the call. Delivery man. That's why you have to pay before you start. <laughs> you see, so we have to bring that policy. Yeah. Then a motorbike will get stolen. I mean, no. yes, the what you are using for your deliveries, you pack it and the owner comes for it. Oh wow! A lot, a lot yeah. of. So how challenges. do you overcome all these? Do you, have you ever thought, let me stop this, let me give oh, up? Oh, it it came so many times, but looking at the people you are working with, you see that these people, this is what they they they, they come, on. they depend on. They come from uh, home every morning to come and work. Are you working from home now? Yes, we are, working, a, we okay. are working from home. Okay. We've been working from home. I, I remember we started from a small kitchen, but now we have, a, I, I would say, a, a bigger space. In, to work from. Uh, yeah, a bigger space wow. to work from. It must be fulfilling, though. I mean, that's, yeah. that's really good. <laughs> yeah. And what was it like? Did you have support from your family when you decided to switch oh, your business? Oh, yes. I remember because... a call came through, and I, my husband picked the call, and like, hello, this is the CEO of It's Come. Like, that's really? what he said. <laughs> <laughs> really, you're the CEO. So, you see, he, he was very supportive. He, I started from his kitchen, and 
I remember the first time I told him, oh, I'm going to bake. He's like, mm -hmm, are you sure you can do it? Because I know you, when you start something, you don't finish. I'm like, really? Is that how you see me? Aww. Okay, then this one, I'll finish. <laughs> so maybe he said that to push you. I think that was to, what yes, pushed me. Yeah, it to, really to pushed me. You. It yes, really pushed yes. because I didn't want him to see me that way. Yes. And he's been so, very, very supportive. Yeah, he's been you. supportive. Bless I remember he, he was, we were doing deliveries together. We go and do deliveries before we go to our normal, wow. our regular job. So. Wow. He's so how are you there. able to handle it? How are you able to balance it? You're a mother, right? Yes. Do you have you have a son? Yes, I have two kids. You have two children now. Yeah. You have your husband to look after. Yeah. You're, and then you have your clients as well. Yeah. I mean, from all over. Just imagine the calls coming in. I tell so you. how are you able to balance it as a okay, businesswoman so. and as a family woman? Yeah. So from um, when I wake up in the morning, I think before I go to bed, I'm able to collate all the orders that I get. Mm. I write them down because I, I, my lady will come in to pick up the, the lists. Okay. So I think that is what helps me. In, I, so you I have a lady sure. helping you? Yeah, I have, okay. um, we have, um, I think we have five, six people okay. that we work with. Okay. Yeah, so I collate the work, um, mm -hmm. the, orders the orders that come before we start. Then in the morning when we wake up, I'm able to take the few that will come and then we top up. So okay. I think that's how we start. Mm. And I'm able to manage um, with the kids. They have to go to school. Mm. My husband too needs to go to his workplace yes. and, and all that. So I think it's all about management and telling mm. yourself that this is what you have now. So mm. you have to do it right. Mm. And you can't fail the customers. Yes, <laughs> they, you can't. You, can't. you also have your brand to, yes, to live up exactly. to. Exactly. You yes. can't fail the customers. Yes. They, are, they are the most important aspect of the job mm -hmm. so I always make sure that I'm on time with the deliveries we get um, outsource um, riders to help right when yes, it becomes yes, tough yes. yeah well done, MFI. I have Thank to say you. congratulations. Thank I mean, you. it all when when you are talking and when I'm talking to anybody, I sort of try and picture, you know, in my mind. So I'm just imagining, you know, ovens here, granola here, nuts yeah. here, the yeah. babies yeah. here, this yeah. and this yeah. and that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. just, I mean, looking back, it's been three years since you started your business. Now, would you say there's anything that if you had to change, would you do anything differently? Yeah, I think. Um what I would have done differently was um, how to set, set up. Mm. Yeah, set up. So the set up is really yeah. important. Yes, the set up was. the business. Yeah, yeah the set up. Mm. Then also having um, people on board to support you earlier. You need the right yeah, people. Yeah, you need the right people. Yeah. You need the right people because in the beginning, I think I was the only one. Mm. Then my husband was also helping in, but he didn't have an idea of the baking and Mm. Myself, I didn't have an idea of baking. So then how did you learn it? I, I, I asked someone to teach me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think she gave me the basic. And I think constant practice was also very important. And trying your own Yes, business, trying sure. your own mixing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. I have tried the almond flour before. No, I, I think I, I, I tried using almond flour to make a pancake. It wasn't the same. <laughs> no, it wasn't the same at all. You know, and you, I just said, okay, that is not more for eggs. me. Okay. Yeah, it's more almond doesn't bind. Yeah, so when I know. You it do... was just so thick and just you know, I was like, never, never, never. I'm not eating this. I mean it was it wasn't nice at all. Now, speaking mm -hmm. to the ladies out there, there's probably, you know, somebody who follows you, they probably follow you on social media or even yeah. by today's show, they are so impressed. They are so inspired and they are thinking, but can I do it? Yes. Maybe I don't have the, the, the capital. A lot of people talk about capital. I just want you to encourage somebody watching now who thinks like, you know, I also want to start something. I also want to be able to come and take the seat and talk about what I'm doing. Maybe you can inspire a woman or two out there. Yeah. I think you shouldn't look at the capital because I didn't start with any, like I didn't have a capital to start with. I didn't. I was just trying to buy the things small, 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 small until I got what I wanted mm. and I was still selling. So it's all about making the step. Mm. Move. Mm. If the idea comes, just move with it and also have faith and pray because I think that was what worked for me. I, mm. I prayed. I asked God to show me what to do and I didn't have the capital. Mm, yeah so don't way. yes yeah. don't just say you want a bigger money it won't come just move 
move, move. Yeah. And you know, one thing I also say a lot is that, you know, when you get the vision, so yeah. maybe you said you pray to God for yeah. an idea. Maybe he gives you the idea. He gives you like the idea. He gives you the end of it. Yeah. But you have to start and walk yeah. towards it. Probably what, what they've seen in their mind is how they have to start. Mm -hmm. That's probably where you have to get <laughs> yeah. to. You know, so that is your goal. That's where you have to start working. So that's why a lot of people think they need such a huge no, capital. No, 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 you don't. Yes, you, you don't. don't need, you, you don't need, because I remember... I didn't have an oven to start with, mm. but I, I think I, after the end of month, I got my salary. Mm. I had to use some to get the oven. Yeah. So yeah. Don't, don't wait till you have everything. Mm. Start That's with something. Right, right. Start with something. And then press on towards yes, it. Yes, start with Congratulations. something. Congratulations. I have <laughs> Thank to say, you. well done. Thank and you, you know, you look like a hot mommy, <laughs> mommy of two. Hot mommy of two. <laughs> you look you. amazing. Thank, Thank you so much for coming Thank on the show. Thank you for having now, me. Now, yes, they are one of our sponsors. Okay, okay. so they help us to have this show to inspire so many women out there and they always come with the gifts for our okay. guests or well, very often they do so today you've got a gift from Yaz Thank they do you. so many things they're very known for their sanitary towels and then they have you know sanitary wipes they have toothpaste there's so many things he has us. And this is a little package from thank Yaz you. to you. Thank just you. to say thank you so much. And to, to say congratulations. Thank you. Koshon, and I'm going to be thank ordering you. some almond bread would, from you. I would we'll love be right to back. You. Thank you. Childbearing is considered a huge part of a female's life cycle and viewed by many communities in Ghana as a big achievement. Society regards children as the most important assets in every successful marriage and for this reason, childless couples become an object of ridicule. You don't know love till you're a mother or from benefits are you to society if you don't have a child. Throughout our lives as women, we have had to face numerous comments from people. We have had to answer questions about our wombs and ovaries. Yet, the contribution by childless women in society cannot be overlooked. That is the story of 90-year-old Janet Duncan. 90-year-old Janet Duncan was married for 15 years without a child of her own. For all those years, she and her husband visited various places for solution, but to no avail. Her husband was her backbone, but it was short-lived when her husband passed on. She nursed pain for a long time. <laughs> Janet, who was a trader in her youth, seized the opportunity to extend a helping hand to others. She became a fountain of pillar for children whose parents were never available. But Janet is not worried about her situation as she is hopeful she will leave an indelible mark when she departs. Nanai Osei, a fertility counselor and the president of the Association of Childless Couples, says the stigma couples face is psychological. If you live under false pretense, that is where you have issues. I'm saying false pretense because if you don't have something and then you pretend as if you have, that is where the problem is. A lot of people feel that they are stigmatized. But having done this work for more than six years, I can tell you that the stigma that we talk about 
that is really confronting um, childless couples or people with infertility are actually within them. A senior lecturer with the Department of Social and Behavioral Science at the University of Ghana thinks otherwise. When there is that attempt to have a child and it is failing, then there is that is associated with, you know, some severe emotions, you know, and that emotion, I must say, you know, can be very challenging. Um, it can be a very devastating experience because uh, quite apart from what you are thinking, people in a society, I mean, ignorantly will be, as it were, be pointing fingers, sometimes, you know, be asking questions. So, what support systems are in place for childless persons, especially women? Thank you so much for joining me today on the Today's Woman Show. It's been so inspiring. Like MFI, a winning woman said, you can do it. All you need to do is start. Don't think that, you know, you have to start with such a huge capital. You have something in your hand. Move on now. You can do it. You are Today's Woman. I can't thank you enough for joining me. And don't miss it next week, 11 a.m. on TV3 and on DSTV channel 279. It's been amazing having you on and it wouldn't have been possible without our sponsors. I have to say thank you to Move and Pick Ambassador Hotel, to the one-to-one -one bar, to GTP and to Yaz. You can miss it next week. Stay blessed.